But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, our Lord, the Messiah, is the living Lord. He is risen. He is alive. He is our living God and they have nothing. Nada. So today, as you see, our topic is live debate. The dead Allah versus the living Christ. These days, as every year we celebrate, the memorial or the memory of the crucifixion of the Messiah and his resurrection. And the Muslims, the Muhammadans, they are so desperate to prove to us that Jesus did not die. And the first question I ask myself anyway, I mean, what Muslims even have to do with Jesus? Islam is a, is a, is a false religion. Their God is the moon God. So why even Jesus is their interest? It sounds confusing. In one hand, the Muslim, they say that Moses was a Muslim. Abraham was a Muslim. Isa, aka Jesus, we don't know what the Isa came from. He was a Muslim. But their God is not the same as the God of Abraham or Moses. So how that work? Islam as a satanic religion try always to hijack anything. If you remember, there's a video made by Zakir Naik. It's, it's, it's called The Concept of God in Islam and Hinduism. So when the Muslims they speak to the Hindus, suddenly the God of the Hindus is the same as the God of the Muslims. They hijack anything. They will hijack any book. They will hijack any religion in order to dominate, to take over. But we know that Islam is so stupid, so silly, so confusing. And that's why we see Muslims argue with Muslims about what Islam is about. My Skype is open, and today will not be any different from every day. Muslims will call us, and they will fail. Prove me wrong. Feel free to call me, text me first, and I will take your call. As you see, our conversation is about the dead Allah and the living Messiah. Is Allah even alive? You see, I do not need to prove to the Christian, to the Muslims that Jesus is alive because this is what they believe. So we do not need to debate over it. I mean, uh, as long as both of us, we agree that Christ is alive, then the dispute is about if their God is even exist. Because in order to be exist, you have to be living God. Is Allah is a God who is exist and he is alive?
If you are a Mohammedan, feel free. I will be happy to take your call. We start, you know, first with verses we mentioned last time from the Bible. And those are verses the Muslim they mention to us. You know, the Muslim, they, uh, they try to, uh, to refute Christianity. So they send you verses, and supposedly those verses will sponsor their belief. <laughs> so they say to you, can you read for us the second uh, Thessalonian, you know, chapter 2, 11, 12? And it says there that for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. But you know, as usual, the Muslims, as part of the hypocrisy of this cult, when they choose for you a verse, what is it important for us to know what cause? I mean, it says for this cause. How come what is important for the Muhammadan is what after, not before? Because in order to know what the cause, we need to see what the cause. We cannot jump over it. And then we need to find out what is the delusion we are talking about. You see, when somebody he abandoned God and he decided to follow the devil, this is exactly what the Bible is speaking of. It is your choice. And because now you are not with God, with the true God, you are by your own. And that will make you under the control of the devil. So when a Muhammad and he decide to refuse to believe in the Messiah. This is why we need to go and read a few verses before to understand what we are talking about. The Muslims, they don't want you to read what is before. This is talking about the wicked, the filthy, the child molesters, the thieves, the criminals, the rapists, the one who they do deceiving and they do a righteous work. Those who don't receive, receive not the love of the truth. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. So already they are in, in hell, literally. So what, what it says here, that God, you know, because they are evil, he will not make them succeed. That is the delusion. The delusion is you think that you are, with your evil, is going to be succeed against God. As an example, when Muhammad, he may come and he says, I am a prophet. We agree, most of us, maybe some of you don't, maybe the Muslim for sure don't, that Muhammad is a satanic creature. A satanic creature, not necessarily a human, according to Islam, it can be a genie. Genie is Satan himself is a genie. Even Muslim believe that lizard is a satanic creature. Uh, mice, satanic creature. I mean, they have their own black dog is a satanic creature. Actually, black dog is a Satan himself. So Islam is like is a mix. They use the word Satan, but if you go in details, you will find that Satan is a good guy in Islam, and the bad one is Allah. If you go in the Quran, you will find the following verses. Chapter 7, verse number 16. You see, the, uh, when we as a Christians uh, read the Quran, maybe the majority of us know nothing about Arabic and we don't speak a single Arabic word. So, Shaitan, he said, and this is the Muslim translation, because you have sent me astray. The translation is absolutely false, but I will go with this for now, just to show you, even when they try to duct tape their stupid cult, it is funny and it's stupid. Why shaitan is shaitan? Because Allah is more shaitan than shaitan. Allah was so powerful in his deception to the point 
He deceived even Satan. And he made him Satan. Satan is just a victim of Allah. The verse in front of you. Now, if we go into Arabic, the Arabic, here it says, Aghwaitani. Aghwaitani. Just to show you how they lie. The same word is exist in the Quran in different places. As an example, the Quran says that my servant, Allah said supposedly, my servant, you have no authority except al gawin This is the same word, but this is a, po a polar name, like, you know, many, you know. al uh, is, uh, is about uh, an action you did to one person, me, myself, when you say to me, and al gawin uh, is somebody simply a group of people who they are labeled with this al -Ghawin. So what al -Ghawin mean? Any Muslim can call us and tell us what exactly the Quran is speaking about. Who are they? al -Ghawin. What this God is talking about? Any Muslim? Before I put this, the verses in the screen, I'm trying to see if there is any Muslim he got excited uh, and he have an answer. Any Muhammadan? I find it very funny that the Muslims didn't know what we are talking about. You know, sometimes I feel like when I speak to Muslims, uh, you know, they quote us and they quote for us verses from the Bible and suddenly they become scholars in the Bible when they do not even know one verse in the Quran. Always the Muslims, they have no idea or they play dumb, by the way. Sometimes they knew they knew. But the game is to to uh, to say, I don't know, so you can get away from whatever accusation will come or whatever question is going to be next. If we go to the verse, as long as there is no Muhammadan here, he have a courage or knowledge to dare to Text me in Skype until now. Let us show the verse on the screen. As usual, the Quran repeats itself. It's a funny, stupid book, you know. Uh, uh, even, I mean, the same, same exact words. It's not like, you know, just repeat the meaning. It's repeat exactly the same word. Uh, so in the Quran, it says in chapter 15, verse number 42. And by the way, the Muslims, when they made chapters, they were trying to copy the Bible. Those are Arab. They do not know how to make chapters. They don't even know the books. The first time they learn about books, it was from the Christians, and specifically from the Aramaic. Now I know that some Muslim will say to you, "Do you know we have philosophers? We have Alpha, you know, and they, you know, they will start." But even that, this is not from the Arab, you know, either either from the Aramaic or from the Persian. Arab have no books. Even the Muslim himself, they say to you that Muhammad himself was illiterate. This is telling you what kind of community we are talking about if their leader himself is illiterate. And you have no authority, supposedly Allah is talking, over my servants, except the translation here says, the erring one. Is that a true translation? Absolutely false. Never, never, ever accept Islamic translation. They lie, they fabricate, and they don't share the truth. We change the translator, and we will find that there is a huge difference. We just we did not change the Quran. We just chose different translator, and look what happened. Al Gawin, the one the word we were talking about, it's mentioned in the other verse. 
it translated as the following Mushrikeen, which means those who associate with God, those who go astray, the criminals, the polytheists, the evildoers, etc. So use your imagination. Okay, here we need to stop. As long the word Gawin mean all of those. We go back to the previous verse where Allah, He made Shaitan one of the Gawin. Look what happened. Here it says, Qala fabima agwaitani. Please, He said, Because you became me, you, you made me a Gawi. So now the word astray will take it off. And we will replace it with the other verse because it's used the same word meaning. So what will, what, what will come? Because you made me mushrik to go astray. You made me criminal. You made me polytheist. You made me evildoer. Who is the one who made me? Quran says Allah. Any Muslim have a comment? So if Allah is alive, he is going to be the same person as the devil. Do you really Muslim believe that Satan is a victim of Allah? Because this is what the verse is saying. Satan is a victim of Allah. Allah, he made him evildoer. Allah deceived him. Allah made him a criminal, whatever description you see there. It's not Satan who chose that. And here we ask ourselves how big the problem in this religion is. If Satan himself and the Muslim they claim that they are fighting Satan, if Satan himself was the victim of Allah, so you are the victim of who, Muslims? Are you the victim of Satan or you are the victim of Allah? Any Muhammadan? Any Muslim? You will notice how quiet they are and how, you know, delusional they are about they have a God. But if your God is a God, is he a good God or a bad God? If he is a bad God, then your God is Satan. If you are, your God is good God, then he is the enemy of Satan. But as you see, Satan, he is a believer, actually, and he himself is complaining to Allah and saying to him, well, it's your fault. You made me. You did that to me. So what is my problem? Any Muhammadan? Very quiet. Religion. When you have knowledge, very loud, with nobody around you. Any Muhammadan? And you know, the Quran, as usual, as long as it is a book of contradiction, uh, there is a verse in the Quran says that the problem between Allah and Satan that Satan he refused to bow down to Adam and here you ask yourself a very simple question how big the mouth of the Muhammad and when they say in Islam, our God, he ordered us only to bow down to him. When in fact, Islam is the first pagan cult who start worshipping someone he is not divine because bowing down to somebody is an act of worship. Now I know some people will say you bow down to a king. Well, this is God, my friend. This is not, this is religion here. We are not talking about kings. And we are talking about God 
ordering his angels to bow down to a human. So what Satan he did, or Iblis, and here you ask yourself, where Muhammad he got the word Iblis from? You see the names which Muhammad he used is exposing him. Uh, may I answer your question? <clears throat> okay. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Are you there? We don't hear anything. Uh, I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Uh, all, right, all right, I hear you, go I, ahead. Some... No problem. What do you want to say I'm to so us? Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Well, Mr. Sam Shimon, uh, uh, I don't want, I, there is nothing for me to say. I mean, I, I, uh, it's probably everything that's already been spread out. So well, while we're giving uh, lectures in Islam and the translation that you're providing, you asked for a Muslim to help you with the translation. Could yeah. you lay out your question one more time for me? Well, when the Quran, let us go back to the verses. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're watching. In chapter 7, verse number 16. Mm -hmm. And you speak Arabic, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I'm not an Arab like you, but uh, no problem. I can help. As long as you speak Arabic, that would does the job. Qala fabima aghwaitani. Uh, sorry, sir. Hmm. You're just taking one word. Can you give me the verse? I gave you the whole chapter. The whole chapter, chapter seven, verse number sixteen. Uh, chapter seven, verse number sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> mm, hold. On. Uh, let me open chapter 7, 16. In Surah Al-Araf. Mm -hmm. And 16. ثم لا يأتيهم من بين أيديهم ومن خلفهم وان أي وان Verse number 16. So, وقال فيما أغويتني Okay. فبما. فبما أغويتني, yes. What is that? That because you have me in error, I will surely sit in wait for them. Mm. May, uh, uh, that means he's the mankind. Mm. Oh, you straight path uh, on your straight path. That is the translation. Well, this is a translation, but is that correct translation? What do you mean by translation? If you want I, to, I thought, uh, I thought you call me because you can help with the translation, but you are just reading somebody's translation. So, is that a correct translation? If you want the correct translations, you should not be picking up the uh, one verse out of the complete topic. Me, okay, you know, you um, can pick up a thousand verses. Just give me the meaning of this word. Uh, so, in, for example, to know the word, that means we need to, entire, uh, to know the entire context. For example, no problem. It's, uh, the topic starts from verse 10 until mm -hmm. uh, verse, uh, uh, verse what, 18. Mm. So, should, uh, you should come. Uh, you, you actually, it's very easy to to describe it. I, I don't know why. As long as it's very easy, extreme. I'm waiting. I mean, it's very easy. You no, just uh, you just said so. No. Yeah, I did say easy, but did you just uh, uh, the, the the questions that you're asking is like very specific. Like you just need the word of one thing. In okay. Well, you know what it says here that Shaitan he is saying to Allah because you did to me. What, so what he did to him, Aghwaitani, tell us what, what does that mean? What Allah did to, to, to Shaitan? Uh, your question is a trap. Is uh, a my, trap. My friend, all my questions are a trap because Islam is a trap, obviously, and you are scared to answer, obviously. Otherwise, the, the, the word is simple. I'm not asking you to make chemical uh, laboratory uh, experiment. It's just a word in the front of you, and you claim you speak Arabic, and you are a Muslim, okay. well, and you call me to help me with that. And now you are complaining. My question is a trap. So you you feel that there's something wrong in the verse, don't you? No, well, there is something wrong with you, sir. I mean, just, okay. for example, you my, are in Arabic. So my friend, I mean, my friend, let us say, you, let us like, say there's something wrong with me. 
What's wrong with you to the point you cannot even explain your Quran? I can explain it, but okay, go not ahead. in why your you, why, term. Why you keep complaining? I did not ask you for any term. I did not say how you do it and when you do it. I said, what does this mean? Allah, the shaitan talking to Allah, saying to him, be my awaitani. Okay, what does that mean? Go ahead. Yet again, you're just still holding to the one word, my friend, we want to know what that and word means because this is what he did to him. So what awaitani means so we can understand what Allah did to Satan. What the problem? Uh, oh, you sir, when I explain that to your son, let us say your son is sitting next to you and he says, Dad, okay, what this, what, what shaitan, what happened to him? Why he is saying that? Oh, wait, and he, what, what Allah did to shaitan? Explain to me what you will say to your son. What is this have to do with my question? That is the start point. That's how okay, I'm going start, to start. Okay, no problem. Huh? What, so we go, then we go to the other verse, and then people will love because uh, what, what what you read for me, what did you read for me? That uh, Allah, Allah, He ordered Shaitan, Allah, He ordered all the angels to bow down to Shaitan, to sorry, to Adam, mm -hmm. and uh, the only one who refused is Satan, correct? The only one who refused was the Satan, yes. Okay, but did Allah order the Satan to bow down anyway? He he ordered his entire crea creation to go down. Well, where it says that, read with me. It says, and behold, we said to the angels, are you Muslims adding things to the Quran which is not there? Sir, the translation starts like, My friend, we have you are a Muslim who speak Arabic, so there is nowhere it says, he ordered the entire creation. Are you Muslims adding the word entire creation? It says here, why the Qulnali al-Malaika sujudu? So, and this is your Muslim translation. And behold, we said to the angels, bow down. Allah, He said to who? To the angels. Where all the creation? Where you get this from? You are literally speaking in Arabic right now. And you know what is the truth and what is the wrong. But yet, still, your agenda is very clear already. My friend, Why are you my so agenda is very clear that Muslim, they cannot answer a simple question. You are going around in a circle for, for the last 15 minutes for a very simple question because Allah is dead. So I'm asking you, Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. Satan in Islam is not an angel. So why Allah is upset from Satan? Because he did not bow down. But Allah, he did not order Satan to bow down. He ordered the angels. See, in Christianity, Satan is an, was an angel. In Islam, no, he was a genie, correct? Wow, okay, now... So thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for bringing that up, sir. That is like that is just that, that just explains everything. Exactly. <laughs> thank that, you for that. Explain that Muslims are a bunch of fool. They are following a fool, and they have no answer for the fullest foolish Quran. Otherwise, you will be all over me right now. Explain the Quran, and you get me busted. Go ahead, get me busted. Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Why he's upset okay. from Satan? I say all cats say meow. Why I get upset from the dog? I just ordered the cats. Try, uh, when you say busted, may I also try to bust you or I am I not allowed? I, this is what I'm asking you for, get me busted. I'm, I did not say I busted you. No, my friend, you are Muslim, bust everybody. Okay. I'm saying I want, I, um, I want you now to get me busted. It's very easy. So Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down no. to Adam. Why he's upset from Satan? If Satan is from different kind, he is not an angel. Sure. Hmm. Stop repeating yourself like a lot. It's like I I'm have to repeat dumb. myself because here we go. I'm repeating instead of you don't answer. I mean, exactly. You're an Arab, so you, <laughs> I mean, you, you would have to do because my I've friend, you are the smart. Like, not all Arab, not all, all Arab people are smart like your prophet. Maybe I'm not smart like your prophet. Explain to me. Help me. I'm here. I'm here to ask you. Please, can you help me? Okay. So Allah, he ordered, you see, this is why I need to repeat the, the question a thousand times for a Muslim because he avoid. Are you searching Google try to find an answer? No, why okay, would then I? Okay, give me the answer. Allah, he ordered. You are the one who mentioned this verse, by the way, not me. Allah, he ordered I the angels. It. Allah, he ordered the angels yet, to you... bow down to, 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 to Adam. But why he's upset mm -hmm. from Satan if Satan is not an angel? Go ahead. I have given you the answer, but you ignored it. So No, I'm just... not. Show me. Okay, go ahead. I repeat. Maybe I'm slow. Go ahead. Did I, what did I say? I, I said, uh, you are just reading one... Uh, one verse. My friend, and you the are the one, one who quoted this verse, supposedly to answer the I... previous verse, right? So now you quote the other verse, you quote this verse, in order to refute the other verse. 
And now we go to this verse, which you are the one who quoted. And now you are saying to me, you need to read another verse in order to explain this verse. Are we going to play this game forever? So now I'm asking you, you are the one who put, you are the one who pulled the leg of Allah. By the way, Allah have a leg, as you know. And behold, we say to the angels, bow down to Adam. Why Allah upset from the from Satan if he is not an angel? He ordered the angels only. So what Satan? He did nothing wrong. What made you to come to this uh, to this come to this state of mind? What made you to come to this state of mind? I drank some camel urine and I be, I felt so smart because your prophet advised me. He said camel urine is the best. Forget about the rest. Okay, you know, okay. For example, you are a very known person and also a teacher in uh, a teacher in Christian. I mean, you did preach. I mean, we saw the my video. Friend, well, okay, also, my friend, what this have to do? Let us say I am nobody. You know, you met somebody in the street and somebody asked you as a Muslim. Okay, my friend, I am a, a person who I learn about is now. And he, this is what it says in the Quran. And you are the one who mentioned this verse. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. He got upset from Satan for what? Satan is not an angel. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I or like I said, I answered you and you ignored it. What is the answer? So, I'm waiting for the answer, my friend. Look, guys, anyone heard the answer? He answered me. Please, my friend, repeat the, okay. repeat the answer. I, I never heard anything. You just said to me, we need to uh, look for the whole thing. Look as, as much as you want. Give me the answer. Unless others uh, get the answer. So, like I said, you need to get, you need to uh, to read the entire topic. Go ahead, read the same. My friend, go ahead, read as much as you want. I'm here with you. We will stay until tomorrow. And, and you are a nice guy. Need to get you are a nice guy. Summary. And I enjoy your company, okay? So, you have time. Tell me, read anything you want. Quote anything you want. Uh, uh, open any page you want, but give, give me the answer. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Satan is not an angel. Why Allah get upset from Satan? The encyclopedia of Assyrian. That's what they called you, right? My friend, uh, and you this, guy, this guy is going to Wikipedia to, to read about me now. I, suddenly I became a prophet. People, they write about me as they wish. My friend, what does this have to do with me? You know, my friend, okay, the Christian prince is very well known. Christian prince, he, he wrote about him in Encyclopedia, whatever it is. Uh, who, what does this have to do with the topic? The other Christians already told your actual my friend, agenda. My, also, my friend, okay, other Christians, they say my agenda, I have a good agenda. You don't like my agenda, get something better. So other Christian, they told my agenda. No problem. Those are no Christian because a Christian, he don't speak. He don't speak in the back of a Christian. Hmm. Well, you escape being condemned my friend, to help. So are you going to answer or you have no answer? I have answered it three times by now. You well, did not you, say anything. Ignored. you just told me you need to read the quote more. Okay, I'll quote more. I'm waiting. Wow. I mean, why are you ignoring me? Like, you're just ignoring. You just want to hear what I you want to hear. You're playing victim now. I'm waiting for you to give me the answer. And you keep saying to me, I answered you. But everybody is laughing. Where's the answer? Let me repeat uh, the question uh, for the 50th time, maybe. Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Adam is not. Uh, 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 Satan is not an angel. Allah got upset from Satan for not bowing down to Adam, but Allah did not order Satan to bow down. How would that work? Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. The translation. And we have certainly created you, O mankind. And given you human uh, humans form, then we say then we say to to the angels, the, the to the, to bow to the Adam, uh, what's it called? Uh, prost, uh, what? Pro, pro, prost, prostrate to Adam. If I'm the, if I'm pronouncing that word correctly, so they prostrated except the Iblis. He was not of those who uh, may bow down. And then uh, and Allah says. Allah said, what prevented you from bowing down when, the, when I commanded you? And Satan said, uh, and the Satan's response was, uh, I am better than him. You created me from fire and created him from clay. Well, it, uh, it just continues. If you don't want, if you want me to explain it more, let me just uh, copy the entire verse. 
and share it with you on the Skype. You read it. Uh, like I said, I am just like. Okay, so what is the answer now? Just... So what is the answer? Here, uh, I will share it to you directly. The translation and the meaning one by one. Okay, so I'm waiting for the answer. Uh, hold on, let me just you message see, it to I'm you. I'm being so quiet listening to you, so you don't say I'm disturbing you or stopping you. So well, until, sir, now, you're present until, until now, I did not see the answer. Disturbance, sir. What is the answer? Anything I say, it will be directly aimed to me. That is for sure. The you can explain your agenda. Hmm. So, what is the answer? Hold on, I will get you the entire subject right now. The entire subject, and from that, you take you take which uh, what uh, what you want to understand because. Uh, this way is is better for you. Mm. And what is the answer? I'm just sending it to you right now. No, I want you to say the answer. Don't send me. I don't open links. I don't open pictures. I, you know, I don't. I don't. I don't do this. Thing. Read, read from you, my friend. You have a mouth, right? Like and we are doing a voice conversation. So read for me what it says there. No problem. Go ahead. So what me being dyslexic, you right now, right? Huh? Me being dyslexic is bothering you, or is it just uh, mm. one of the things that you try? Who, who? Me being dyslexic is bothering you. You bothering me? No, my dyslexia is bothering you. Lexexia? Is that what, what does that mean? Lexexia? What does that mean? I don't speak English. Sorry. What does that mean? No. Ask your vipers. What? Ask your vipers. What vipers? Uh, your venom that you spread out to. Oh, okay. The, uh, okay. So, are you affected by the venom I spread to you? Uh, I'm not affected. I just know. Uh, why, what, uh, why are you I just affected? Know. Are you saying you don't die by 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 venom? Isn't it your prophet? He died by Walmart venom, cheap Walmart venom for five dollars. And here you go once again. What you are the one who <laughs> mentioned venom. I mean, you mentioned something, and then you want to run away from it. Here we go. We have Jesus as the living God. You see the title, the living God, Jesus, and we have the dead Allah, the dead Muhammad. Allah, we killed Muhammad, a Jewish woman, she killed him. She's my cousin. She killed him by five, two dollars. You know, I told her, don't buy the two dollars one, uh, buy 50 cents. She went to home, to home depot, to a Walmart, it's cheaper. But anyway, she got two dollars poison. She bought it for a rat. She bought it for Muhammad. Muhammad ate it, he died. So you want to change the topic for, for venom? We can talk about venom. What kind of a prophet, his God could not save him from the, the venom, but Allah, he supposedly, you Muslim claim that he saved Jesus. Why Allah, he said Jesus, but he couldn't. You are the one who mentioned the venom. We were talking about shaitan bowing down. Suddenly you start you talking are. about venom. What's wrong with you? It's you who go around and you mention things which have nothing to do with the topic. Oh, well, I'm just I'm just telling the parent, everyone for what what's your actual agenda. Okay, my actual and agenda. You... Okay, this, let me tell you my actual agenda. Do you like it or not? Who care? I love at, uh, and my actual agenda to laugh at Muhammad and Allah. Can you stop me? Can you yeah. refute me? Go ahead. I mean, your agenda to make me believe in Allah, I understand. Your agenda is to make fun of the Bible. Okay, no problem. So what the problem now? You want to you wanna play drama now? Thank God, you know, like you are not a female and you are married to me. Otherwise, you know, I will jump from the sixth floor. My friend, listen to me. You want to change the topic? Talk about venom? Here we go. Your prophet died by poison and he, he promised that if he's lying about the Quran, Allah will cut his artery. And the Hadith says that his artery is being cut off. So this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. You want to go back to the previous question? Let's go back, no problem. Oh. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Satan is That's not it. an angel. So how in the world does God he get upset from Satan, who is not an angel, when he order only angels? Go ahead. Are you scared? I'm very scared. This to the point, especially when I went to the top of the mountain to throw myself. Did you know what happened to me? Because right now I already sent you the my friend. The entire do, you, do you know what happened to me when I went to the top of the mountain to kill myself? I was terrified. But thank Allah, Jibreel, he appeared suddenly and he hauled me from my cell phone. He called my cell phone his book. Oh. And he says to me, Christian Prince, why, Habibi, you want to kill yourself? Why? For sure you are a prophet. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He want to kill himself. Is that what you're going to do yourself now after debating me? So you keep saying uh, to me, I will send you links. Why you don't answer me? Give me the answer. I don't open links. I told you. I want the answer. Tell me the answer. How come you think it's a debate when it's actually played by your own terms? My anyway, friend, you... I'm, I'm, all what I'm asking you for is just give me the answer. You are the one who called me and he said, 
I heard you saying you need a Muslim to help you to answer, to translate. I said, wonderful. All right, here we go. The mic is yours. And I was so quiet listening to you. And then you did not give me anything. So what do you want to do now? And now I want you to read all the messages that I sent you on the okay, Skype. I don't read messages. I want you to read, read, read them for me. You read them. Sir, how many times do I have to explain what uh, my dyslexia? My friend, not my friend uh, I'm waiting. P people, okay, I can see them. As I say, I can see the message. But they, we have a thousand people listening. Tell them what you are saying. They want to hear your voice, my friend. Come on. So Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. First of all, why he ordered them? Secondly, why he upset from shaitan for refusing to bow down if shaitan is not one of the angels? He did not order him. Go ahead. You're repeating the thing again, again. again. I have to repeat it. Muslims, why? Why are you doing that? Because you are, Muslims are very slow and you, you prove it. You prove it. Muslims are very slow. Yep. I have to repeat the question a thousand times, and still we are waiting for you. And you complain. That, by the way, you complain. The funny is, it is you who call me. It is you who want me to, to, to talk to you. It is you who volunteer yep. to answer me. And now you are complaining about what? I don't know. Wow. Am I allowed to speak, actually? Okay, I'm not going to talk for uh -huh. the coming five minutes. Do you promise me to answer the question? Okay, let us repeat it again for the last uh -huh. time. Allah, he ordered the angels yeah. to bow down to Adam. Shaitan is and not one of the angels. Why Allah get upset from Shaitan when he is not an angel, which he ordered them only to bow down? The mic is yours. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to mute my microphone. Listening. I'm going, to, I'm going to ask you to read what I just share, what I just sent you on the Skype message. I cannot read. I am illiterate. There's an I am illiterate like your prophet. You read it for us. Go ahead. So, and yet you are ignoring it. My friend, when you I'm have not the ignoring answer. it. It's you who's ignoring it. Read it. Tell us. I want people to hear you. I want to people to hear you. When I said I'm dyslexic, what does that mean to you? I don't know. That's mean you are so, you are over delivering. Point. I'm not sure what does that mean, my friend. Give me the answer. You, we are talking. People listening. Point. People are waiting, and you are smart. And obviously, I'm not smart like you. But thanks to Allah, I'm not smart. Because if I'm smart, I will become a Muslim, and then I'm going to drink amal urine, and then I will believe that there's a God who will make my penis in this. And a woman, she is waiting for me. Her boobs is so big. Thank God, I'm not a Muslim, and I'm not smart like you. See, this is the result of the conversation. So we go back to zero. Allah, He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Yeah, Shaitan is not an angel. So why? what do you do now? I mean, why? I just want to know what made you. I mean, what what made you to come to this this hatred to show this hatred? I mean, chapter is five, that, chapter I did... five, verse fourteen. The Quran says that Allah spread the hatred and enmity between the Christians. So if you complain oh, about hatred, you are oh. against Allah. Are you against yeah. Allah now? Are you against Allah? And you start with My friend, you start with just are you against adding... Allah? Shame on you. you. What kind of a Muslim you are? You are putting Allah down. You know, you remind me, you remind me of uh, this guy Karadov, you know? He joined Putin to fight his own fellow. Well, listen, 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 I'm... Abdul, listen, listen. So did Allah in the Quran, now... chapter five, chapter, well, well... chapter five, verse number 14, did Allah says, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. And then you call me and you say to me, I want to know why you have hatred. So who is the donkey you, here? It's you or Allah. What's wrong with Muslims? You, okay, so read the verse for me. Not, is it Allah? Is it yeah. true? Is it see the, here we, we are trying to prove to people now that Shaitan and Allah is one. And you just lead us to the conversation here. Thank you very much. So the verse in front of us proved that Allah is Satan. You are accusing me of hatred, which means already you agree that hatred yes. is is bad. Yeah. Do you, do you agree? I'm, do you, okay, let me ask you. Is, is hatred from shaitan or from God? All the hates that you're just describing uh, and giving and teaching to to the, uh, to, the uh, to the other Christians in, are in the comment section. Hmm. It's just like the you're just saying that Christianity actually tells you and recommends you to hate those uh, the, well, you those who to, are you not. You have to prove it. Jesus, he says, he says, love your enemy, bless them, those who curse you. So this is a lie. Secondly, the, we are talking about the Quran. It is your book. It's a verse in the front of you. And now you go blind because you are drinking Cameroon, because you are Ramadan, you know. So may, may Allah bless your stomach, by the way, with the camel urine. So chapter 5, verse 14, huh? it fit perfectly with the camel urine because simply you need to swallow it hard. It is so big. The, it's so. It is so. It's so delicious. Look at this. We have a God. He decided to spread the hatred between the Christians. So when you Muslims complain about hatred, are you being hypocrite or hypocrite? 
Uh, now I'm a hypocrite as well. Well then, read yeah. the verse for me. You are the one who complained about hatred. Why Allah want to spread think. hatred between us if Allah is a good person? Is Allah a good person or is a bad person? Well, obviously he's a bad person because the, you are the one who's saying the one who spread the hatred is a bad person. So now you call me and you prove to me that Allah is a bad person. Thank you very much. You know what? You you want two you want you want today. Listen, we, because of Ramadan, you want two liters of camel urine and they are fresh. But you have to come to my backyard. I have a camel. Almost one thousand one thousand years ago, and you're bringing those stories up. Well, it's you just who, saying that. one thousand years ago or yesterday. It is numerous them who bring those stories up. Don't you read the Quran every day? Oh, such such a teachings like the the teachings of you as a what what was it the Trinity, hmm. and and you want that to be in the part of a Bible which is never mentioned in the Bible. Hmm. And people already, tried, I mean, exposed. But what does this have to do? Your, okay, my friend, you are jumping like a monkey in the zoo, but there is no zoo. Okay, because simply jump, we, like you, you, you call me to talk about a topic. Now you suddenly you want to jump to talk about Trinity. We can change. You want to talk about Trinity? You know, just promise me you want to change your topic. What topic you want? Trinity? Mm -hmm. You want this hatred? Yeah, no. you, you want Shaitan? Is 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 besieged by Allah? Which one you want? Those who are hearing you, hmm. right? Yeah. So every we're just whatever whatever comes. Like before, I already answered, and you, you don't want to read it. You that is answer. ignorance. You did not answer. You are telling me you send me you send me pictures. I don't. I'm not interested in your of your pictures, my friend. I I want you to give me the answer. People want to hear you. We have more than a thousand people waiting for the smart Abdul to answer. My friend, give us my friend, give that us the answer. So Allah, so Allah, He ordered the right. angels to bow down to Adam, and then He get okay. upset. He got upset from Shaitan. But Shaitan is not an angel. So how stupid is that? Right. Imagine I say all cats say meow except the dog. He said how. Yeah. But the dog is a dog. He don't say meow. So how come Allah, he ordered the dogs to bow down and then he upset from the cats? In your own belief. And you're taking a lot of people with you with it. You already took down a lot of Muslims from their beliefs, even though... First of all, it's not uh, a lot. lot. First of all, this is a lie. It's not a lot. It's maybe a couple of hundreds of thousands. So you are lying. Secondly... <laughs> What? Wow. It's not a lot. You know, it's not a lot. It's still there's a lot. I mean, I mean, it's still more, way more. It's still there. Come on. Uh, the warehouse is full. My friend, my friend, we took them from their belief and we made them what? We made them, we showed them the truth and the truth. We set them free and they accepted Jesus. So you are complaining that a lot of Muslims left Islam because of showing the truth. But look what will happen now. How many people they will watch this video and they will see that a sheikh like you, you are a big sheikh. I mean, look like your beard, your beard, your beard is so long. So you have a long beard, maybe two, uh, I don't know, this is look, look like two meters. My friend, what? How come a sheikh like you, who speak Arabic, he cannot answer a simple question? Allah, he ordered the angels, yet he is upset from shaitan. Why? Uh, separating the angels, like the angel that is in the Quran, that is Gabriel, is not the same angel that is the that is in the Quran and is an imposter, and the Allah is not the same Allah. Which, oh wow. Yeah, Allah is not the same Allah. People... I can show you. Okay, you open a new topic. Allah is not the same Allah. Let me show you that. When Allah, he said in the Quran, that Allah may Allah forgive your sin. Allah was speaking to different Allah. So if Allah is the same Allah, Allah will not say, may Allah forgive your sin. And we have to agree on that, right? So if I am if I am the only Allah, there is no way I would say, may Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. So obviously you Muslims, you have many Allah. You have Allah before tax, Allah after tax, Allah of Joe Biden, Allah of Monica Lewinsky, Allah of Obama, uh, you know, Allah of uh, Mickey Mouse. So here, listen with me. Allah, may Allah forgive thee. Allah speaking to who? To other Allah. If Allah is speaking to himself, that means he have a mental issue standing in front of the mirror, asking himself, asking himself. Listen carefully, my friend. Imagine the picture. May Allah like, forgive thee. Okay, who is talking Allah? Talking to who? I, to Allah. How many Allah you have? Other things. Hmm? That is just amazing. Your tactic is is very demonic. Oh. Miraculously. Miraculously, yeah. I, I just, how it's demonic that I promise people like in this penis like your prophet? I mean, how come you notice, you notice that I am demonic, my teaching, but you did not notice that the prophet who promised you in this penis, obviously is satanic. What kind of a promise? He made and you got that from hadith, right? So what? Okay, what about what about the Quran says Allah will give us women with big boobs? Wow, okay, that is an amazing translation you got there. Well, you give me a translation, here we go. 
You yes, trans but no. I you translate. You translate. No, no, no. You translate. You know what? Whatever you say, I will accept. Go ahead. You know, you are, you are, you are, you know, you know best. Allah and Muhammad, and you know best now. We add, we add your name to the to the list. So, chapter seventy-eight, verse, no, verse number thirty-four, thirty-three. It says. Uh, Allah will give them falabal, fala, falafel, butters, women equal age. Hey, what does that mean? Go ahead. The complete summary of whatever you say. My friend, you just what focus. You, oh, you, you said you claim that the Quran doesn't say so. So give me the translation for a chapter 78, verse number 33. It says here, Allah will give us falafel, butters, women in equal age. What does that mean? What palafel, what, what palafel botos mean? And do, what is and that? And people who think that killing is uh, by the name of Jesus or by the name of Allah is okay. And that comes from You are from talking the about boobs and nipples and you are talking about killing. Are you telling me you are a victim of one of somebody, women and nipples? Like some woman, she hit you with her breast and you died? What killing have to do with the topic now? You are the one who opened this. So... When we hear it, 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 I have a verse in front of me, and you said you speak Arabic, and you are a sheikh, alhamdulillah, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Yes. Chapter 78, verse number 33. It says, Allah, he will give us falafel, follow, follow, botos, otos, us, women. You know my English is very funny, you know? So anyway, so what does that mean? Wow. You keep saying, wow, well, I mean, are, are, you know what, you believe it or not, you believe it or not, we are reading the Quran from a website, it's called Wow Quran Wow. Look, 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 it says here, Wow Quran, Wow Quran. And you keep saying to me, wow, exactly, it's a, our big boobs, man. So what kind of God, who is Satan then? Who is, you said to me, the demo, demonic teaching, what kind of God he promised me, he did not even promise the word women, he says, Boobs. What is the word women? You speak Arabic. Listen, can you show me the word women in the verse? There's no women. It says boobs. And the time that uh, that I have is lacking because I work. You are what? And that doesn't give me a lot of time. What, what? I already said, I think you can, yeah, just like you told me, like, uh, you know, yesterday when you close and when you hang up the phone twice on me. I hang up on you for what reason? Remind me. Wow, okay, now I have to remind you as well. Yeah, I don't remember. You are so small. I, you know, I don't remember small things. Remind me. Yes. Why, 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 why I hang I up on you? Why I hang up on you? Because obviously you answer you nothing. You do the same as today. You go in a circle, you keep your job like a monkey. You know, you're, you know how you claim to be a shape yeah. and you're, you're just a kid. Come on, listen. Uh, uh, how, how old are you? How old are you? Be honest with me. I mean, come on, I there's nobody who knows between us. I wish, huh? I wish anyone. Hmm. That is actually trying to question. Should yeah. come ask these questions from a source that is actually. The, okay, you are the Muslim, what? and you are the one who says to me, "Let me call you and let's so gonna answer you." So now you are asking us not to ask you. I mean, are you useless it, to you? Is it you who texts me saying, "Let me answer you"? My answers is okay. just like. What is the answer? No, you answer nothing. To a stone, like the, a stone? it just reflects back. What a stone. Like me talking to a stone or a wall is okay. just a reflection. Okay, let us go with this. Is talking to a stone? Is it is talking? Isn't it talking to a stone? Is a sign of stupidity and madness? Did your prophet speak to stones? Did your prophet speak to stones? You said to me, "I'm wasting my time speaking to a stone." This is what you just said. So, what kind of a prophet? He walk in the street. He say, "Assalamu alaikum" to stones, and he he claimed that the stones answer back and say, "Wa alaikum assalam, Messenger of Allah." A logical person hmm. would actually Google it. Like, why? Why the stone and the prophet? Literally Googling it, you'll okay, get the answer. Why, okay, why the stone and the prophet, they are talking? Tell me, what, what is the purpose? What happened? Muhammad is walking down the street, walking down the street, la 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 la, la 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 la. And then the stone says, Assalamu alaikum, Messenger of Allah. Well, do you Muslim believe really stones are believers in Allah? And they are Muslims? The, what is it? Uh, where is this? The one, the verse that I just wanted to read again. Do you uh, Muslims, you change the topic, you know, you, you keep changing the topic. Do you Muslims believe that stones are Muslims and they believe in Allah and they take shahada? From, that is from your book. So are you going to answer By or not? Book, uh, the, the present heaven and earth are being uh, uh, what? reserved for, oh, yeah, for so fire. Yeah, so, so. For the, I mean, it was all right. Yeah, let me know. Destruction okay, of so, men. Okay, so now? So? 
What, what, what is it? The other one. Okay, the, so I'm asking you now. Is it, so when you say to me, you are speaking to me as if you are speaking to a stone. And you say but that the prophet, he speak to stones. Yes, you agree. Why you're a prophet is speaking to stones and how the stones say in Shahada and became, she is a Muslim. But each man, but each man must be careful hmm. how to. Uh, how okay, just go. Next time that your dad call me. What kind of people those? And then he said to me, you hang up on me. Now he will go, he says, see, Christian Prince, he hang up on me. I'm talking to myself. Let me show, let me read this hadith for you. Just for entertainment. You know, people they are celebrating now, and Christians are happy, and we want to keep them happy. As you see, my agenda, I want to, what's wrong with this hadith? I click in it, it doesn't open. See, I click here, it takes me to different hadith. What the heck? What's wrong with this website? It's a miracle. Amar Rabbi Aman. Me. Okay, I will not click on it because obviously if we click, you know what, let me take a screenshot. Hadith. Um, smile. I will take a screenshot for you. So let us take a screenshot for this hadith. Because obviously when we click on it for some reason, it doesn't work. All right, and now we open it. And now this guy tomorrow, he will call me and he'll say, you hang up on me. You hang up on you. You hang up on yourself. You're an idiot. When Allah created Adam, he breathed the soul into him. Then he sneezed, Hatsu! That's deep. This is the story of creation. What the first thing Adam, our father, he did? He sneezed. I knew it. I knew it. We have a sneezing grandfather what is the first thing he did Hachu. how many of you you were deceived by the christian teaching about adam how many of you now we know what happened to our grand 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 grandfather Actually, some Muslims, they say his real name was Trump. I don't know if it's true or not. We need to figure out. So, when Allah created Adam, he breathed his soul into him. Hey, Muslims, he breathed his soul from where? Into him, where, where? I mean, where is the holes? Which hole Allah, he put his mouth there? Allah, he breathed. And how Allah, he breathed, I want to know. What, you know, you Muslims, you are very, you have a very strange religion. He breathed, okay. Well, is he like Jesus? You know, your God, he breathed? What does that mean? There's something inside Allah? What he have inside him? He have a soul? I mean, the second you ask this religion, any question, they go in kayas. They start biting their fingers, and they, in the best scenario, they will hit you with their legs, like a mule. So anyway, you know, I'm so happy to know what happened to my grand-grandfather, uh, Mr. Adam. Alhamdulillah. So Adam, he sneezed. And then Adam, he says in Arabic, Alhamdulillah. That's, that's deep. I knew it. I knew that our origin language, all of us, all mankind. If you are from Indonesia, you are Arab. <laughs> you like it or not. If you are from England, you are Arab too. If you are from Sri Lanka, you are very Arab because Adam, he landed even there. <laughs> you know, good luck with that. If you are a redhead, well, you are a very Arab. That's why you are red. You know, because we the Arab, we put, we put you in the oven for some time. If you are uh, an African, you are an Arab. Okay? Two. A grandfather, Adam, he is an African from Sri Lanka. All right. Because Sri Lanka, you know, in the old days used to be in Africa, by the way. Uh, some people, they told me that Sri Lanka used to be educated in a country in Africa, it's called Brazil. So when Allah, he landed in Sri Lanka, which is exist in Africa, which is called at that time Brazil, it's in the same country we know now, Brazil, you know, 
Uh, you know, don't be fooled by those Americans. They lie to you and they say Brazil is in America. That is the Christian trying to deceive you. So you lose, you, you take the wrong exit. Don't don't follow them. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so Allah, I mean, the lies are getting so big. I need to drink water. Hold on. So Allah, he created Adam. He breathed into him. It's very normal that Adam, he sneezed right away. I mean, uh, imagine yourself, you get shot uh, for cholera. You know, like somebody, you know, like when you join the army, I don't know how many of you have been in the army in USA. You know, you go in the army and there's a there's a big shot, there's a huge shot. I think it's made for horses, not made for a human. Ah, oh, man, I remember it. It was so horrible, unbelievable. Oof. I don't want to talk about it no more, just forget. Anyway, she gave you the shot. You know, she is like, you know, she is like five by five, this nurse. And she have the things, the needle in her, and the needle is in the size of your head. And then she asks you to hold your hands in the handle like it's like a phone, like a phone camp, you know, phone room. But there's no door. You put your hand there and you like, you know, you turn your uh, bum to her and then and you feel nothing for the coming two weeks. I'm telling you, your tongue will not work anyway. Uh, so he sneezed. This is what happened to Adam. She gave him the shot, which Allah. And Adam, he sneezed, and then right away after he sneezed, he said, praise be to Allah. He, Muslims, how Adam, he knew Allah. He says, the guy is not even finished. And how you learn Arabic? There's no Arabic at that time. But don't ask questions, come on, let's let it go. Then the Lord said to him, look at the conversation. Right away, Allah is making Adam, he put him in the table, you know? Like, so Adam, he sneezed, hachu, hachu. Allah, he cannot keep his mouth shut. You know, this is the first product he made. So he said to him, Okay, Adam, listen, Habibi, Habibi. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, praise Allah. Uh, uh, then his Lord, he said to him, May Allah have mercy upon you. Like, what the heck? Aren't you Allah? What's wrong with this religion? I mean, nothing there makes sense. And then Allah, he told Adam, Look, the, the, the story getting more complicated. You guys have popcorn? You know why they call them popcorn? Because the first one who ate them was the Pope. Okay? This is true. Like, this is my own dictionary. All right. So listen. And then Allah, he told Adam, go to those angels. <sighs> That's deep. Look, look what Harun is saying to me. Guys, look what Harun is saying to me. Harun? That's amazing. Harun, he said, Christian Prince, you are jealous. You want to have a Muslim wife. Yes, brother. I love Muta. So if you can hook me up with some, you know, Muta girls, you know, I mean, you have connection, right? So come on, you know, I will give you, I will give you unlimited supply for more than 30 days in Ramadan for camel urine. My camel is outside and he piss a lot. He pissed me a lot, actually. I mean, he pissed me off. At least you can take his piss. I'm, I don't know what to do. I mean, this guy, when he start pissing, it's like a river. So I can supply you, don't worry, all right? So are you, are you jealous because you want to have a Muslim woman well, I, all what I need to do, say shahada, and I can get four of you and change them every day. You see how easy it is? Jealous, you idiot. Let us continue with Adam. Uh, Harun? Now I know why they call you Harun. Harun means a male cat. You are a Harun, aren't you? Meow. What an idiot. So here we continue. It says here. Uh, Allah, he said to Adam, brother, let me, let me highlight, because some of you don't understand to read English like me. For all of you are uneducated. You are very uneducated. I don't like you, by the way, all of you. Look, we have 1,079. I like the, I like them only when we have 1,080. If it's, they are 1,079, I don't like it at all. So he, look what happened here now. Alhamdulillah. So Allah, he says, okay, Adam, Adam, okay, go uh, to the angels. Oops. The guy, he just finished. Right away, he told him, go to the angel. So that gathering of them setting, the angels were setting, and Adam, he went there. Oh, 
And then he said to, uh, to them, Assalamu alaikum. Who is talking? Adam. To who? To the angel's brother. That's deep. That's amazing. And they said, Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullah. Sound like a mosque for the Shia. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. What the heck? And then, then he returned to his Lord. That's it. You go and say, Assalamu alaikum. You stupid Adam. What's wrong with you? Sit there, talk to them. Say hello, where we can find women. What's wrong with this heaven? There's no women here. Hmm? I mean, this is what Adam, he did. He went there. And he just, he said, Assalamu alaikum. And then he would say, Wa alaikum assalam, and he went back. What the heck was that? So then, after this uh, happened, you know, brother, then he returned to his Lord. Let me make it in red, because you guys, you like it in red, don't you? I know you, you know. Most of you, you go to the red district when you, you, know, when you visit the Kaaba. I know it. I mean, you sexy and you know it. So anyway, so uh, let's make it in red. So uh, uh, he returned to his Lord. Okay, who returned to his Lord? Adam. After what? After he said, Assalamu Alaikum. So now Adam, he did the mission. He went to say, Assalamu Alaikum. And he found the angels sitting. So he said, This is your greeting. And the greeting of your children among each other. Ah. Allah was teaching Adam is a greeting. But look what happened. It is, was Adam who is the first one who says, Assalamu alaikum. So how Allah is teaching him when he is the one voluntarily said that? Oh, it says here actually. Allah told him, sorry, this is my fault. Allah told him, tell them, assalamu alaikum. And now Allah, he made him practice. Like, you know, he came to the laboratory. He said, assalamu alaikum, and now he's back. And this is a true story. And then Allah said to him, okay, okay, listen, now, uh, while his two hands were closed, what? Okay, this, this, is, this is really confusing, uh, you know. I, I lost my I lost my concentration now. You need, you need to concentration here. You know this is very deep, right? Allah, He said to him, "I want you to focus with me, Muhammadan Christians." Allah, He said to him, while his two hands were closed, the two hands of who? Anyone knows? Are the two hands of Adam or the two hands of Allah? Let us see who of you want to give me the correct answer in the chat. Is it the hands of Allah? The two hands of Allah are closed? Or the two hands of Adam? Anyone knows? I know it's take time for some people to receive my voice because my voice is very deep. Very deep. It's coming from the deep. Allah, thank you, yeah. So Allah, look at this game. What, what they call it this game? Like when a guy, he call, closes his two hands and he say, where is the coin? Like, what the heck? It turned to be that the first one who did play that game is Allah. And you are telling me you don't want to convert to Islam? It, it, there's a name for this game in English. Anyone can tell me like this name? We can search it. We can put a picture so people can see. Hmm? Allah, He hold two hands next to each other. Saying to Adam, choose. Which of them you wish? What the heck? It's called peek a bow. Peek a bow. Man, this English is very weird. I'm going to change the English one day. You know, when I became president, I mean, in America, anyone can become president. If Joe Biden president, I would be president very easy. 
it's you know just uh, like you know get some money and then uh, you know those uh, uh, republic uh, sorry those uh, liberals they vote for anyone say to them we will go green so all what i need to do i wear a green you know and then like you know that said they will vote for me and i told them we support uh sexuality and we support uh, you know like a homeless and we want to be homeless and uh, yeah but thank you very much you know and then i will become president and then I, I it's required to in america to be president to forget your you know what's your name and where you are born and who is your wife and you, you can't even think that you are a uh, vladimir putin uh no not take a break i i look for it the picture here the one you sent me the word it's about putting your hands over your eyes no this is not the one not the one Anyone find the name for it? So we can find the picture for it. Anyway, later when you make the video, you can, you can uh, do some. You can find the picture. This is when you put two hands in the front of you, and you ask the person in front of you choose one hand. Like he hit your hand, and he open it. Like, come on, you guys do not know what that mean in English. I'm really disappointed of you. Look like all the one who listen to me are Chinese. <laughs> Bruce Lee is here. You know, nobody speaks English. I'm the only one who speaks English. Nobody. Uh, take a bow. Take, take a bow. This is what it's called. Are you sure? Okay. Let me try. Pick a bow. You know, uh, when I search in Google, it show me that you put your hands over your eyes when you when you search for "big a ball." I don't think this is the correct word. Anyway, you guys are not invisible. It's okay. I forgive you. You know, you will not go to hell. Okay, Allah, Allah is all forgiving, and He forgive you even if you do laman, which means kissing a woman or touching her private part. Yeah, but I searched. I could not find any picture. It shows only somebody putting his hands over his eyes. The one we are talking about, you close your hand, both of them, and you put them in front of the person to choose. Anyway. Ring or rose? Ring or rose? Let us... I don't know what is that. Sound fishy for me. Ring or rose? What kind of English that English? Let us see. Ring or rose? Ring or rose? You know, you guys you are just giving me nothing. Anyway. So let we continue. So Allah, he told him, choose one, Adam. Which one you choose? Which one you wish? Adam, he said, I choose the right, my Lord. And look what Adam discovered. He discovered that Allah is playing games with him because both of Allah are right hands. <laughs> Like, what the heck? So choose which one of them. And then he said to him, I choose the right, my Lord. But both Allah's hands are right. He, he, Adam, he told you choose one of them. Which one you choose? Adam, he said, I choose the right. And then he continues saying, my lord and both of my the hands of the my of my lord are right me imagine you have a question like this like this is the question you win a million dollar which one which hand is going to win the right or the right? <laughs> ah, Lord have mercy. I don't know if I'll read for you. I mean, this is really stupidity. And then, guys, you will find out that there's something weird there. That Adam, when he, after he chose the right hand of Allah and both his hands are right, looked like Allah he was playing games with Adam. It was very foggy. And he was using one right hand and one foot. You know that like the right foot and the right what the heck with this i mean this is i'm, I'm really i'm really so amazed i'm sure many of you are so amazed and uh, you know it is an easter time 
It's a wonderful time. And I said to myself, it is more funny, more comedy, more entertaining for those Christians to have fun for today more than this. Just face it. This is religion. This is what you forsake Jesus for, you Muslims. This is stupidity. And then the guy, Adam, he asked Allah how long he will live. And what happened then? Allah, brother? Story is wrong. I don't know. Should I continue the story, brother? Because you want me to continue the story? He said, no, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Act differently. Okay. So then, ah, there is somebody is a Muslim here. All right. Let us see our friend, the Muslims, who is trying, he want me to call him. Okay, where is my Muslim headphone? All right. He's not answering. Answer, my friend, answer. Well, he's not answering. You see, I muted the speaker so that they don't bother you. Because I know that all of you, your ears are sensitive. I mean, your ears are big, you know. Like Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. Hello? 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 Uh, we don't we don't hear you. Who is there? Healthy <laughs> mouth. <laughs> we did not hear you, son of Muta. <laughs> anyway, he was cursing anyway. Uh, so I choose the right hand and both Allah's right hand, and then he extended, and there was Adam and his offspring. Adam and his offspring, they were inside the hand of Allah? What the heck? I was there too. And I was wondering why when I, you know, I was like too young at that time because Adam was still young too, you know? And when I like dropped my, you know, like I don't, I wasn't wearing a diver. I was a baby and it, the floor became a slippery underneath of me. It was the hand of Allah. So there was Adam and his offspring in the hand of Allah. This is a true story. Who can oppose such a true story? Hmm? We were in the hand of Allah. And why Allah is saying to him, choose? I mean, choose what? If you open the other hand, what he will find? What the heck is that? I mean, do you even choose your, your kids? Can you choose them? Trust me, if, if my parents, they can't choose a kid, they will never have me. Come on, just think about it. What the heck is that? So he said, what are those, oh my Lord? Did you eat it? He just told you those are offspring. And you are telling him, what, what are those? I mean, do you see how slow this, uh, this Adam is? Man, man, oh man. When I said man first time, it sounds like it's a, go it's, it's a goat talking. What the heck is that? Man, I think my voice is tired. Man. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, and you know, uh, you know, the stupid Muhammad, as usual, he cannot repeat the same story twice correctly because there is different hadith where clearly the stupid Allah have two hands. One of them is right and the other one is, la is left. I mean, how stupid this religion is. If you go in the hadith, you will find this. And this is a he. 
صحيح برادر الله ده exalted the glory the glorious would fall the heaven on one day of the the day of judgment and then he would place them on his right hand and say I am your Lord where are the half the he's talking about uh, Zachariah and where are the proud today he's talking about me uh, he would fall the earth placing it on the left hand and say what the heck I thought both of Allah's hands are right hands. <laughs> I mean, do you see this? Too? This is a religion. I mean, this is a prophet. He cannot repeat the story twice and he cannot maintain. I mean, do Allah have two hands are right or one is left and one is right? What's wrong with this religion? That's deep. And this is Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2788A. Don't forget the A. Otherwise, you will get D. <laughs> uh, somebody saying to me, this is contradiction. My friend, already we showed the Hadith. You are, you are too late. Okay. I think you live in Russia, and the news is coming to you very slow. The Russian TV is still telling the Russian that we have victory. Oh boy. Anyway, so look at this religion, man. And okay, the story continue. If I read the whole story for you, you guys will go crazy. I don't want to make you crazy. Should I make you crazy? Hmm? I mean, most of you, your wives are really saying to you, you are crazy. Right? We don't want to make you more crazy. Who here think that he is a crazy? Give me one. Trinity is the name of the pole dancer. Wow. Well, that's mean your God Allah is the biggest pole dancer because your God Allah, he opened the Quran by saying three names of himself. Look at this Abdul. Abdul is trying to insult. Abdul, you cannot do that in my present. I will wipe the floor with your God, with my new flip-flop. By the way, I bought a new flip-flop. I love them. That's why I will return them. Because, because I love them, I think I'm not going to use them to keep them new. This is what we do in the Middle East. Okay? So let us see who is the pole dancer. Isn't it the guy who keeps saying to you, I'm going to give you big boobs and endless penis? And as long as you are saying about the Trinity, well, isn't it this is your God, Abdul, who keeps saying three names, three names? I think your God, when he mentioned those verses, he was a pole dancer. Look. If we go to the first verse in the Quran, the first, first, first verse, not the second. Don't go to the second. You will go crazy in the second. In the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, three. Yeah. He was doing pole dancing. Okay, let us do that. You try to insult our Lord. Well, you have to deal with it now. This is a pole. And this is Allah. Allah have one shin. One shin. This is his knee. It looks like joystick or something like that, you know? But you know, I'm very good in uh, skilled. And then we add things. Allah don't have a chest according to Muslims, but Allah have two hands. So his hands in his leg. But now we have a problem. The both hands of Allah are right hands. How he is going to hold the pole? It's very easy. He uh, holds it from both uh, right hands. Okay? Okay, but no, it's not easy because the pole now is in the, in the other direction, you idiot. You see where the pole is located? So in order to fix this, we have to move this pole. Let me talk, uh, call the technician. We have to move the pole because Allah now is limited where he can move. I mean, his hands, his hand is in the other direction. All right? Let's make the pole blue. So now Allah is holding the pole and he's Al-Rahman, Allah, Rahim. Yeah, okay. And he was singing, Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy, blue. Oh, mommy. 
What the heck with this God? I never heard of a God is a shin. Honestly, I mean a God is a shin. The Muslim, they love, they say you worship a man, you worship a shin. Prove me wrong. Do your God Allah have an ass? You say no. Okay, do I have a chest? You say no. Okay, so what do you have? You have a face. You have two hands. You have five fingers in each. And you have one chin. He lost the other one in Afghanistan. Or wrong with this religion? Somebody telling me, don't try to draw? Are you trying to oppress my hobbies and my skills? This is called oppression. I'm telling you, don't go to America. In America, they will oppress you. Look, I am an immigrant, poor immigrant, very stressed, okay? And I, instead of those Western people, try to help me. What they do, they say to me, don't, don't do draw. Like, oh, look, look, look at the evil. Look at those evil Americans from Taiwan, you know, from, uh, you know, Honolulu. Uh, you know, something like that, you know, in that area, you know, like, you know, something there. All those things, you know, happen somewhere. So look, look, look how they try to oppress the truth. They, were, you know, they try to extinguish the, the skills of Allah. Uh, Lucy, what happened to you? Your name is Lucy in Yah? CIA? L-U-C-I-A, look at this. Look at this, this is what I was missing in my life. I am not done with the FBI, and now we got LUCIA. Okay, hold on. Please don't try drawing. How I can? That's it. I have to go. I mean, I cannot. The CIA is coming. LU, L -U, what does that mean? Like, LU, 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 U, C, I, A, W, H, W, I, N, G, O. What the heck? Is that a name? I mean, you are complaining about my drawing. Are you to complain about this long? What is that? This is a train. What's wrong with you? Come on. Just, just, okay, forget about the name now. Don't, don't be upset. I'm not making fun of you. You know, I'm just, just, I'm just joking. joking. All right. <clears throat> anyway. Um, I'm really upset because people complain about my drawing. Now I know that my mom, she was lying to me. Always I show her my drawing, she said, wow. Even when she is asleep. I said, mom, you did not see it yet. She said, don't, no need, it's amazing. Like, like, okay, mom, can you open and see what I draw? She says, son, just leave me alone. It is amazing, like the Quran. We do not know to see it. It's amazing. No one can make Quran like Allah. And nobody can make a drawing like you're drawing. And since when I became so proud of myself. Anyway. <clears throat> Why my book, Sex and Allah, in, in German is not available? Uh, my book, Sex and Allah, is not in German yet, I think. Is it? I don't think so. But uh, science and uh, maybe maybe Amazon trying to fight it. I don't know why they are not printing it. Anyway, oh, what an amazing story in front of us. And look, the story continue. Adam, when he said to him, "Who are those, my lord?" Allah, he said to him, "Your offspring." Each one of them had an age, his age written between his eyes. What the heck? Now all the females here, they are going to go to the bedroom and they will stare at the mirror trying to find out how long they will live. Each one of them his, ha, had his age written between his eyes. Any Muhammadan? Uh, is that a true story? Hmm? <laughs> Between is if it every one of us 
destiny, you know, like it's written. And, and why Allah need to write it down? I mean, so like, like, uh, like when the ink expired, the head explode. What happened? I mean, how, how that, why Allah is, how much time Allah has spent writing those numbers there? Like what, he, like you have a machine, like you stamp, like, bzz, like you lived uh, 30 uh, a year and five days. Hmm. Do you have any book in Croatian? Yeah, my friend, we have it for free. The admins can post a link for you and you can download from there. Croatian, Albanian, you know, Russian, Chinese, you name it, it's for free. The Lord, he says, for free you took, for free you give. But nobody is giving me free guys in the station. I don't know why. I told them I'm Christian Prince. The guy, he told me like, what? Give me your credit card, sir. If you don't have a credit card, we accept cash. Nobody listening. Hmm. Anyway, here you notice how Islam heavily is based on fictions and stupidity. What is the purpose of those stories? All of us, we are in the hand of Allah. And Adam, he was able to see them. Where Allah, he placed Adam and what kind of eyes Adam he have. And then the story continued. It became more complicated. You like it complicated, right? And then it says, but among them, there was a man who was most illuminating of them. That's deep. He was what? Illuminating? Why? There's only one person who was so shiny. Let us search together in the galaxies. You look at the darkness of the night. And suddenly, you see someone so shiny. That's deep. Who can come with such a knowledge? We went back on time to the time of Adam. Bees be upon him. Hmm. You know, the, the, the guy who called me, do you know what he sent me a message in Skype? He says to me, then I will come to you from behind. Allah, he's speaking about Allah, by the way. I will come to you from behind. Allah will come to us from behind. That's deep. Why Allah will come to us from behind? <laughs> this poor guy he could not answer anything and now he is texting me unbelievable okay uh my imam is here uh yeah your imam in africa is here uh, okay and he, he speak dirty language don't he <laughs> so as you see this is really very stupid naive dummy stories this is the guy they say to us, he's a prophet of God. He's amazing. He's so smart. God, ins God inspired him, you know? Because this God, he inspired him. He said those stupid things. Isn't, isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? What a beautiful prophet. Special connection. How Muhammad he knew all of this? And the funny, it's not in the Quran. Hmm. Who was witnessing this conversation between Allah and Adam? Allah, he decided to write it down and send it down to Muhammad? Or Allah, he asked the angel, he says, Zabril, come here, Zabril. I want you to tell them this and this and this. He told him the story. Allah is a storyteller. So there is a person, he is so shiny, 
among the most shiny of them. He said, oh my Lord, who is this? Like the guy, Adam, he saw him like a flashlight in the middle of nowhere. He's shiny. He said, oh Lord, who is this? Allah, he said to him, this is your son, David. That's the. Now we know how shiny David was. I'm telling you. David was so shiny. Hey Muslims, what does that mean? And why it's not Muhammad? I mean, aren't you disappointed now? It turned to be that the most shiny one in the world is not Muhammad. It is David. That David would. By the way, it doesn't say David who here. It might be David Wood. Actually, you know what? First time I saw David Wood, I said, this guy is so shiny. This is the same one, the Hayith, prove me wrong. How we know that this is Dawood? Who's Dawood? Dawood in Arabic means David. Who is, who is Dawood? And why he's so shiny? He's shiny more than Muhammad? Did this guy there would he like he he paint himself with this paint like you know you, you see them sometime in YouTube like uh, uh, in in the uh, in the Islamic uh, country they have a special uh, Hajj location yeah like you know they do party and then they paint themselves they spray in their lips at night blah 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 is that what he did? Hmm? Those eat a dream. Who is eating dream? I mean, what's wrong with people? People eat dreams. I mean, this, you know, we are in the end of the time for sure now. Here we go. I made a prophecy now. People eat, eat those eat a dream. But, oh, man. Hey, Muslims, is that uh, your prophet then as this story? So David was very shiny. And then I wrote 40 years for him. What the heck? Allah, he decided to make David live only for 40 years. Hmm. Hey, Batong, Mr. Batong, will I mock the one who mock us? Isn't it the whole Quran mocking us? Calling us kuffar, filthy, najis, liars. So why you must get upset from mocking you, mock us. You will get upset because you cannot answer the stupidity of your book. It's your prophet who's making mockery of you. Look at this. All of us, we are in the hand of Allah. All what Christian Prince he do, he do mockery. Okay, each time I go live, you come here. Obviously, you like mockery. If what I do is mockery, according to you. So why you come here? I mean, people, listen to me carefully. Is that a mental issue? Those Muhammad, and they keep complaining about how I talk. And they keep coming here. I mean, what's wrong with you? If what I say is not nice and you don't like it, why you keep coming here? You became addicted, don't you? Hmm. Aha! I hate you, but I cannot live without you. That's deep. Hmm. So, okay, let us continue now. If, my friend, if you don't like what I say, why you come here? Come on. Okay, don't complain. Tell your mom. I mean, change your picture, please. I mean, this picture, it sounds like you are thinking deeply here. Look at this picture. What the heck is that? Are you thinking deeply or you have a pimple? I'm not sure of, you know, you tell me. Anyway, but if you don't like what I say, why you are here? Come on, be smart. Sure you are smart. But now you are not using it because simply it's Ramadan. It's okay. After Ramadan, you will start using your brain. But now Ramadan is not working. So I wrote 40 years for him. Okay, why Allah telling Adam this information? I mean, what Adam have to do with, uh, with David anyway? What, what, why Adam he care? I mean, what the heck? Who is the heck is, uh, is, is David for Adam anyway? I wrote for him 40 years, okay? Mm hmm. And that what is have written for him. Adam, he said to him, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, please Allah, give him 60 of my years. 
That is a real donation. Not that those guys, they go to Patreon and they give me a dollar and then at the end of the month, nobody can collect it. Like, what the heck? This is the real donation. Allah told Adam, I gave, but I gave uh, David uh, in Patreon $40. I will make him live for 40 years. Adam did not like that. And Adam is very generous, you know. He said, no, Allah. Come on, listen. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Take 60 years from my age and give it to David. Somebody call David Wood right away. Tell him the good news. Hey, David Wood, you will live 100 now. It was 40. Adam, he decided to give you, like, psh, you know, like a tip, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, you go to the restaurant. And then, uh, if you are an Arab like me, you will take the tip. Uh, but if you are like an American, you give a tip. Anyway, uh, so I wrote 40 years for him. He said, oh Lord, add to his age. Uh, but Allah, he said to him, but you know what? This is what I wrote. I wrote it for him. It's already. Adam is so good in bazaar business like he's like you know you go like you go you know in the middle east you have to argue like i say to you 100 at the end of the day you buy it in two dollars they say 100 to fool you to make you believe that whatever you ask for discount or you are winning you know yeah so uh, uh, he said to him allah okay but allah allah already uh, you know allah he said to him already i wrote his age already too late uh, adam come on i cannot change it i mean do you know how much ink i used then uh, he said, well, I have written this for him. So, you know, and then Adam, he said to him, Oh Lord, oh Lord, give him 60 of my years. He said, all right, you got it. You got deal. Like, you know, in the old days when you have a OAL, I don't know if you remember that for those, it say, you know, it, it says, it used to say it to you, you got meal, like, you got me. Okay. So he said, then he raised in paradise as long as Allah willed. Oh, oh and he was cast from it and so Adam was counting for himself <sighs> that's deep because Allah now took 60 years from him so Allah Adam now is casting like he took 40 years how many left for me how many years were left for me oh, okay so he okay so he said the angel of death came to him man it's time for Adam to go and Adam, he said to him, you are hasty. You come so early. 1,000 years written for me. <laughs> Allah told him that. Oh, hey, Muslims, where Allah, he told him that. It doesn't say there. So he said, of course, but you gave 60 years to your son, David, you idiot. You see the stupid Adam, he forgot. He forgot that he asked Allah to take 60 years off of the 1,000 year. So now, the angel of death, he came to him when he is 940 years old. Adam, he looked at this, you know, the, uh, the angel of death, he said, are you stupid or what? <laughs> you are giving me so early. Huh? My, I should live for a thousand years. The angel, he said to him, uh -huh. you think you can fool us, huh? You forgot what you told Allah to take 60 years of your age to give it to David? Then it says here, so he rejected and his offspring rejected. And he forgot and his offspring forgot, like what the heck? And this is why Allah, since then, he ordered us to have witnesses. Adam did not lie. He said, no, this is not true. He rejected that. He said, no, I did not ask Allah for 60 years. So Allah, he decided to have, since then, witnesses. I mean, do you see, guys? Isn't it amazing?
This is why we have witnesses. Adam, he forgot what he told Allah to give David 60 years. How many of you are not convinced yet? What's wrong with you people? Now, do you know why Muslims get upset from me? Because all of this is make a lot of sense. I mean, it's dripping sense. Why we have witnesses in the court? Because Adam, he forgot that he told Allah that take 60 years from my age and give it to brother Abdul Dawood, David Wood. I mean, all this problem started because of David Wood. I should have changed the title here. That will get more people here to think that they will think that Christian Prince is fighting with David Wood. David Wood is the problem. He is the one who rejected the 60 years deal. He denied it. And now we have to have witnesses in the court because of David Wood, they rejected the 60 years deal. What the heck is that? What this religion is about? And this is how the Muslims explain the religion. By following such a fool. You leave the Messiah, the Lord of the, of, or the King of Kings, the Lord of Wisdom, the Holy One. And you follow this stupidity. What's wrong with people? You lost your mind? Oh, what we can do, what we can do. I'm drinking my coffee because the topic making me sleepy. <laughs> do we have any Muslim want to say something to us besides the guy who called me and complained? He was complaining for 15 minutes. And he said nothing. What's anything? Well, he spoke to me for more than 20 minutes. Anyway, well, I want to say to you guys, I'm not going to keep you longer. It's an Easter time. I hope that's all of you. And I pray that all of you have a great time with your family. And I pray that you pray to others, not only being praying to yourself. Pray for those who need help. Pray for those who they are uh, poor. Pray and help, not only pray for them. Uh, pray for those who they are lonely, they have no family, old people, you know, visit them, take care of them. If you know somebody close to you, neighbors, old person, do some merciful act. So one day the Lord, he will send you somebody, as you did. One day you might be the same as that person. One day you might end to be poor. One day you might end to be in need. You might be in need right now. So pray for others, not only for yourself. Be loving, be giving, follow the Messiah. To love mean is not to hate. The Bible says, love never hate, never fail. And that is the Messiah. Muslims, they think Islam is big. We laugh at it. It is so small and it is dying extremely fast. They count numbers, but as you see, the numbers mean nothing because none of them even can explain anything about his cult. When the Lord, the Messiah, he spoke to the Pharisees, Yeshua, he said to him, you shall love the Lord, Jehovah your God, from all your heart, from all your soul, and from all your power, and from all your mind. This is the great and the first commandment. The second, which is like, is, it is, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On those two commands, they bend all the law, all the written law, and the prophets. So when somebody says to you, you need to study, it's good to study. You need to learn, 
is good to learn, but the whole teaching of God is in two things. You love your Lord, you love your neighbor. The neighbor here is everybody. You wish to them the same as you wish to yourself. If we can do that, we are living the Easter. For the Easter is not only resurrection of the Messiah from the tomb, but resurrection of love to all of us. For a human race is diving with hate, war and killing, hatred, money, power. Everybody saying me. With the Messiah, we are resurrected, even though we are not dead yet. But this is a different kind of resurrection. Not only he promised us we will live, whoever believe in me and die will live, but you live right now a way better life. For he give you a new resurrection, a new way of thinking. And you will notice that when the Muslims they don't respect Jesus, they don't appreciate Jesus, they don't even know who's Jesus. They are no better than the Pharisees. The Pharisees who they were questioning. The Messiah. They are in front of him, still they could not recognize who is he. So when the Messiah, he said to them, What do you say of the Messiah? Who is son? Is he? They were saying to him, He is the son of David. He said to them, Well, and how then David, by the Spirit, called him the Lord Jehovah? For he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet. This is my message to the Muhammadan, and this is from Matthew chapter 22. Time will come, and the resurrection will happen. And this time, the one who will resurrect us is the Messiah. And all those who don't believe in him, they will be under his feet. Not as a worshippers, but as penalty. And those who belong to him, they will live eternal life. In the holy God kingdom, where there is no sex, no food, no falafel, and no big breast. For God is holy, his house is holy, his people is the same. We will be new creation, the same as the Lord in the resurrection. He gave creation to all those saints who resurrected with him. For he, and by him, and for him, everything was created. Thank you very much for being here. I say, he is risen, Easter is great, but let us make every day Easter for us. I will try to come tomorrow, but I don't know if tomorrow will be some people are here, because I'm expecting, expecting many of you will have families gathering, etc., and maybe will not be, you know, many people would like to listen. Otherwise, I don't really mind. We will see. Just watch the channel in Patreon and see if I will go live again. I hope you did enjoy your time. We pray to the Lord to keep you in good health and wealth, to keep you away from being in the need, from being sick, from being sick in your heart and sick in your mind and sick of being sick because sometimes being sick can be a blessing. For many people, they get close to God when they are sick. Sadly, when we are healthy, we forget about God. We think we are God, or we do not need Him now. We are healthy. But my friend, God always, He show Himself to you. Sometime, even when you are sick, you see Him. And when I say sometime, because that is dependent on you. You decide to see then you will see. If you decide not, then nothing can change you. 
Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. Happy Easter. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him.